Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video we have a review on the Vortex Diamondback HD binoculars. So we're going to test them out and tell you guys whether or not you should buy them or not. Let's jump into the video. Alright guys, real quick, just before we jump into the video, I just want to say that you can get this down below. Check the link if you're interested for yourself by the time the video is over. Just wanted to say that before we jumped into it. But to start the review, this is what it comes in. This actually comes with the case, with the binoculars, excuse me. Um, if we look at it, it's pretty nice. It's got, you know, a lot of little pockets and stuff. There's some zippers on the back. Uh, it just latches right here up front. We open it up. It's kind of padded inside. So, I mean, it keeps the binoculars protected, which you would hope for out of, you know, a little better set of binoculars. But it also comes with this neat little strap. So, you know, you can put it on you. You can wrap it around, strap it, and they stay put right up front just in case you want to bring them with you. That way you don't have a problem, you know, carrying them or you have to get them out of your backpack or stick them in your pocket or anything. So that's really nifty. I know a lot, um, some, a lot more expensive binoculars than this that don't come with this. You have to buy like an aftermarket piece. So it's just neat that this comes with that. But jumping right into the binoculars, they're, uh, I think they're pretty nice. Of course, they're $250 binoculars, so you would expect them to be kind of nice. They're 10 by 50s They have the eyepieces that raise, so you can get a little better look into them. And then, you know, of course, they focus and everything. They bend a little bit. Um, they're not made out of, or they're made out of good material. I don't want to say they're not made out of good material, but as far as, like, holding them goes, they have a little grip right here, which is good. Um, I really like that. But some other binoculars, you know, might have some better grip or might be made out of a little better material, a little easier to hold, not as cold on your hands, but it comes with lens caps, which the only thing I don't like about these lens caps, they tend to like, they're kind of in the way when you look through it. You just have to make sure that they're not right before you look through it. See, like they'll stay now, but if you're not careful, sometimes you can catch yourself doing that. Now, if we look through it, we can uh, we can see pretty far. I'm looking at about 750 yards right now, and I can see clear as day. Like there is no problem whatsoever seeing that far. I can see better 750 yards than I can 50 with my naked eye almost. Super super clear. No problems focusing or anything. Uh, we would show you some footage through the lens, but we already tried that and it, it just didn't work out. So you just have to take my word that it's crystal clear and. Honestly, for $250, it's a killer deal in my opinion. I haven't messed with many other binoculars in this price range, but I've seen some much more expensive than this, and honestly, they do the exact same thing. I, I would prefer these any day. I would 1,000% recommend this over a lot of the other more expensive binocular brands just because they are so much like cheaper. Now, don't get me wrong, these aren't cheap in general, depending on who you ask. You know, $250 a lot to some people, but in the realm of very expensive binoculars, these are absolutely terrific compared to a lot of the other really, really expensive ones. So I would highly, highly recommend you check these out for yourself. Once again, $250, you know, anywhere between two to 300 depending on where you pick it up, if it's on sale, this and that. Honestly, that's, in my opinion, that's like the perfect price to pay for binoculars because once you start buying them around $100, they're still not going to be that good of quality, but once you get over the price range of this, you're not going to get much. Like I said, there's a $1,000 pair of binoculars I've used before. Exact same thing. You know, it might be made a little better, but this case is phenomenal. Like, most of the other ones don't come with the case that's that nice. Already has a strap and everything. So I would highly recommend the Vortex Diamondback 10x50 binoculars. If you're looking for them, the link will be in the description below. So check them out for yourself. Would highly, highly recommend these things. Great for any hunt, hike, or anything you want to do. But that's going to wrap it up for this review video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It means so much to me. I love the support and everything. So hit that subscription button so you can stay tuned for the next review video. We'll catch you guys then. And as always, take someone outdoors.